there, I'm meteorologist Kathy Sabin. I hope you're enjoying your day. The Denver Gazette weather picture includes sunshine, a warmer day, and then more of this tropical moisture feeding in from the south, and you know that means afternoon thunderstorms. A brief heavy downpour, we're not really in the outlook area for severe weather, but some of this moisture coming up will produce the potential for flooding in the burn scar areas we're concerned about. The Lake Christine burn scar and also in and around the Grizzly Creek fire area. Storms develop west of I-25 today by two and then push out onto the eastern plains and could turn heavy around Lyman, Akron and Burlington and these storms could go late into the night. We see a similar scenario play out as we move through well the second half of this week, but then warming and drying trend. That'll be something we'll be talking about. Today's high will be back in the lower 80s. We start off with sunshine, so we'll get to 81 in Denver, 84 in Lamar, 68 in Vail and 84 in Grand Junction. Hikers and bikers watch out for lightning as early as 1 o'clock in areas like Nederland, Idaho Springs and Blackhawk. We have afternoon thunder showers that'll move out during the evening with lows in the mid 50s. Temperatures continue in the low 80s, but we're heading toward the average of 87 by the end of the week. A warming and drying trend for the holiday with just slight chance of a storm each day, Sunday, Monday and Tuesday. So the first week of July may look a whole lot different than June. In June, we had a lot of cloud cover, cool temperatures and a lot of rain. Enjoy your day. Thanks for watching.